Hi, I'm Martin Brewer and I'm the product manager for the Avalanche smartphone server. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to download uh, the Wavelink Avalanche client for iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, Wavelink actually distribute this application uh, through the Apple uh, App Store. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So, to start with, I'm going to be launching the App Store. Now, to expedite the process today, I'm actually going to be searching just on the keyword of Wavelink. So, I'm just going to go to the search in the corner here, type in Wavelink, and then we will see our application be displayed. In order to install this, we simply select it, we then get the product page telling you about the application, tells you about licensing information. I invite you to take a look. You simply click more and you then get more information about our product together with a screenshot of what the client will look like once it's been installed. In order to install it, very simple, simply click where it says free. Um, the client is free to download, free to install. Uh, obviously you need to obtain licenses for the server component of this which you can obtain through Wavelink sales. And information about uh, how to buy this product is also contained on this page. Now, once that application has been installed, you will get an icon on your desktop. You select it, and you're taken straight to a page which is asking you to enroll this client with an Avalanche smartphone server. This information is normally provided to you by your IT department. The information your IT department will need from you in order to complete an enrollment is the serial number of the device, and they will provide you with a password and a server address. As you can see here, I have pre-filled this with my particular server information and my credentials. Once this has been done, you click the Done button, and now you'll be presented with this screen, which is where the, our client is actually looking to see where it is in the world using GPS, cell, type, uh, cell tower information, as well as Wi-Fi networks, and then relay that information back to the Avalanche server. Uh, once that's been complete, you will see Sync Complete. What that indicates is that the client has relayed the information about the platform to the Avalanche server, together with receiving any policies which have been created by your IT department. As soon as you get Sync Complete, this indicates that the process has been completed and there are no policies available for your device. In the next video, I'll be going to show you what the user experience is for when policies have been created by your IT department and they're going to be downloaded by your device.